Barkstall, we come together to learn and do great things. You may feel like a normal kid, but at Barkstall, you will become fantastic. The Fantastic Four is a superhero team that began as four regular people. There was Reed Richards, a brilliant aeronautical engineer, Ben Grimm, a successful Air Force pilot, Susan Storm, Reed's fiance, and Johnny Storm, Susan's brother. Reed developed a spacecraft capable of interstellar travel. He convinced Ben, Susan, and Johnny to join him for the spacecraft's first journey into space. Partway through the flight, cosmic rays penetrated the ship. The crew lost control of the ship, but the automatic pilot took over and managed to steer the ship back towards Earth. As Reed, Ben, Susan, and Johnny emerged from the rubble, Susan began to turn invisible. Next, Ben's skin began to change and he developed superhuman strength. Reed's body suddenly was able to stretch and elongate. Finally, Johnny burst into flames and discovered he was able to fly. The four agreed that with these new powers, they would be able to help the world be a better place. They also realized that even though they were all given very different powers, they would be more successful joining together as a team. The Fantastic Four also had skills that weren't given to them by cosmic rays. For instance, the Invisible Woman showed encouragement to the other members of the team, and Ben Grimm showed courage when he was operating the spacecraft. These Barkstall students don't have superpowers, but they do have skills to help them succeed. They especially have a lot of the skill called respect. I show respect by listening while others speak. All right, it's time to put our heads down and clean up our things. I show respect by following directions the first time they are given. I show respect by raising my hand if I want to speak. I show respect by using quiet voices. On the first side of your paper, you're gonna start like we do every time by um, the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write my name. And then you're gonna think about how you show respect at Barkstall. And we saw lots of examples of that earlier. So maybe Jenny is going to talk about um, raising her hand when she needs to ask a question instead of just blurting it out. So you could draw a little desk here. And we could show Jenny sitting here. And if you make a mistake, you can always get those erasers out. And down here, it'll say, describe what you're doing. As you can say, I raise my hand to speak. Here we go. Put her legs in there. There's the bottom of the chair. And then we can find our crayons and color her in. And when you finish this side, you can turn this over and it says if you could have a superpower what would it be and if you need to you can take one of our paper mannequins to help you visualize the body on here it's not going to fit on there so you won't need to trace it but it can help you think about um, what kind of superpowers you would want okay and then you would write down here I would be able to control the lightning. And then you draw your picture here.